I didn't realize I actually loved science until probably late into high school because science was always the hard subject, right? You know, you take bio in high school, you take chemistry, you take physics, and it's always a drag because you got to churn through it. Um, but I did realize around high school that um, I liked going to science museums. Um, my parents would take me to um, science outreach type events. And I was always fascinated. And I thought, well, you know, you know, wouldn't that be cool if you could do that for a living? I would watch the speakers on stage. I feel like someday I would love to do that. Just be an expert um, and be able to other to also inspire other kids. And I just thought that was so cool. Um, and so I actually majored in aerospace engineering for undergrad, my master's and my PhD. Um, and so, and then I fell into this plasma physics field, which is a little bit different. I certainly didn't come up with these ideas on my own. I'm when they say you're standing on the shoulders of giants, that's it's not just literal. I mean, it's true. Um, there's been people working in this field for 50, 60 years, um, and you know, scientific experiments are just you're building on the last experiment, what you learned last time. So you're taking these incremental steps. It's never, you know, the, the name of the show is breakthrough, and that's what we're always hoping for. But you know, rarely in science you have that, that aha moment. Really, it's you know, you're every day you're in the lab, trying something new, learning something new, and then building on what you had before. Um, no, no, you you don't get upset at all because um, you know it, it, it sounds um, it sounds very optimistic when I say this, but it, it's completely true that every experiment you do, you you learn something new. Um, actually, you learn a lot. Um, and for example, on the NIF. The data that we get out on every shot is just extraordinary. We could probably write a paper, you know, every other day, um, just because there's so much data coming out. The quality of it is amazing, um, and so you really are learning something. And even if you fail, or you fail, um, you have to figure out why, because you thought you would have succeeded. So why is that? And you know, I don't know. <laughs> that's that's the truthful answer. I I wish I did, um, but. But people, you know, a lot of smart people have been working on this for a long time. We know it's a hard problem. That's why it's fun. That's why I love going to work every day. Um, but but we don't we don't know. It could be could be tomorrow, but it could also be 10, 15 years from now. But I do I do believe it'll we'll figure it out. It'll happen.